streets. Now, another uh, hate channel on YouTube has been trying to find ways to stop um, people, you know, sheep obviously does whatever she wants and collects whatever she wants. She never gives back to these communities. Pause. She never gives back to these communities. She meaning me. Let's take a look, shall we? That 9,000 right there to save a bee farm, that bee farm helps save and house trafficked women. And my little community over here was able to do that in two hours. Other than screaming outside of Summer Wells' parents' house, what else have you done for Summer or any other missing child? Here are some ads that have been placed that we paid for. The Butterflies, Summer's Day, a bench, uh, posters that are made and hung up periodically. I'm just wondering... You know, did you think we took up donations to do that? Nobody took up donations to do that. Uh, the ladies who throw Summer's Day did that. Those are the kind of people I associate myself with. How about you, Betty? Um, one thing that this channel has always done is we give back in a variety of ways. We, we don't charge any families anything. Um, we're out there searching for them. We're providing them flyers. We're providing them shirts. We're, 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 we do for the Bullhorn Betty channel and the partners that we have on the Bullhorn Betty channel really do a lot for these families when they have missing people, as opposed to a lot of other people that commentate on it. We provide actual resources to these families. And you let your audience know that you are going down and will need money and all of those things. Uh, over here, none of us do that. And I would love for you to show resources that you've provided to anybody. Uh, you haven't attended our Summer's Day events, but they're, they're full of resources, not just about Summer Wells, but about many missing children and what parents should do. And some of the resources came from the TBI. I mean, please show us exactly what you've done. We'll wait right here while you run and get that. Keep the victim and the victim's family front and center. <clears throat> and then we have idiot content creators that don't even know how to read the law or how it applies because they're bringing up stuff about no organization shall solicit contributions for preparing material, okay? We cover cases. Most people on these platforms cover cases. Betty, this says organizations. You, ma'am, are not an organization. Why you assumed that this post had shit all to do with you, I don't know. Much like Miss Electronic over here, where it says, well, unless you're an organization, it doesn't apply to you. So I don't know what exactly you guys are all panicked about or why you'd even make any commentary on this when the post itself just has eyes and a little yelling emoji. Do you guys think you're the only people out here covering cases that anybody cares about? You're definitely not. So I don't know why Betty took it upon herself. Maybe, maybe one of her buddies sent it to her and she just assumed that it was about her. But again, if you read the comments, it clearly says organizations of which you are not one. You are one person, even though you talk about yourself in the third person, which makes zero sense. You are just Betty or Andra. And also, let me address you saying stupid creators who can barely read. Aren't you the one being sued and you're trying to represent yourself and it's not working out well? I'd be careful of who you call stupid. Stupid.